What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for another video and today we have the latest Aviation News this week episode for y'all. We're going to get started in right here with the video and uh, we're going to be trying to make these videos a little bit quicker because I know I've had some comments about people wanting the videos to be faster and not take as much time. So let's get started with episode 78. And the Canadian government is moving forward with soft casing for the 737 MAX. The aircraft type will start flying with Air Canada here in the near future and Air Canada recently did some test flights that included an emergency landing on one of the aircraft that had to have an emergency landing because of an engine issue. Now, fortunately, this is just a small engine issue. It should be able to be fixed pretty quickly. And the Air Canada 737 MAX 8 should be able to return to service soon as well as the WestJet and Swoop ones. So Canadian 737 MAX levels rejoice because the aircraft is returning to service. A G in Airways has gotten the very first A321 Neos. I think I might have partly covered this in a previous episode. But they currently have three in their fleet right now that have started operations. This one, Sierra Kilo Dash November Alpha Alpha was the first one. Second one was this one right here. Sierra Kilo Dash November Alpha Bravo. And then we have the newest member, which was just delivered on the 27th of December 2020 to Aegean, Sierra Kilo Death November Alpha Charlie. Uh, if we go back to the second picture here, um, Sierra Alpha Bravo. I really like this new Aegean Air livery. I know I'm not a generally a big fan of liveries that are your white, but this one actually looks pretty nice, and I like it quite a bit. And it fits the Greek culture really well and the flag and such, so I'm actually okay for it in this scenario. Other fleet news we have is that on the 22nd of December, the very first E195 E2 for Bolivia Airlines was delivered. This is the stretch version of the E195 E2, and just look at how long that thing is. That is a really long airplane. And of course this aircraft it has high efficiency bypass engines, and has a wing that can flex a little bit more so it can be more fuel efficient. This aircraft is registered Echo Whiskey 555 Papa Oscar, that is three fives. That's quite an interesting registration. Next up, Red Wings has a very fast Sikorsky Super Jet. This livery is really awesome. I like this livery. But uh, the, livery, the aircraft registration is 89140. And uh, this is the first aircraft in of this aircraft type and it was delivered on the 24th of December 2020. Pretty cool looking aircraft here. Next up, we have a Rex Regional Express 737-8FE Victor Hotel Dash Romeo Quebec Charlie. I believe this is the very first 738 if I am correct. Um, yes, I believe so. This is the carrier that usually has like those Saab 340s. So I think it's the very first uh, regular like nobody aircraft. So this is pretty cool that they got one. And yeah, really liking to see airlines getting new aircraft. And with that being said, we'll move on to the next thing. And that is a brand new airline. Yes, pandemics are the ideal time to start your airline carrier. I did not know that, but apparently pandemic is the ideal time to be starting a new airline. There have been a bunch of airlines that have started this year. This one here is Cali Air. It is a new airline for Nigeria. This is actually the second new airline we've covered recently because we covered uh, another one that was operating uh, E-Jets. But uh, this one is 5 November Dash Bravo Yankee Quebec. It makes sense that there are airlines now in Nigeria because a lot of companies are seeing Nigeria as a massively expanded market that has great potential. So a lot of people are looking into either bringing their own airlines there or starting new carriers. And this is the second new one that's being started this year. Um, United and a couple other U.S. airlines are announcing new services to Nigeria directly from the United States to Nigeria with maybe a stopover in Senegal or something like that, which is really interesting to see. And moving on to route news, speaking of Nigeria and some interesting routes, we have some new routes here for Hawaiian Air. They started four new routes. The first one is five weekly service from Honolulu to Ontario, California on the A321 Neo. The second one is one today service from Kahului to Long Beach, also on the A321 Neo. So these are great new routes here to California that'll solve some secondary markets other than the main ones they always solve. And then the other two will be on AC3200s. The first one is a twice weekly Honolulu to Austin, Texas service. So definitely casting in there on the Texas people wanting to go to Honolulu. I think that's a great decision. 
and then twice weekly saw us from Honolulu to Orlando, Florida. Apparently, this is the very first time Hawaiian has been regularly solving Orlando. I did not know that was a thing until I recently looked up. I was like, wow, Hawaiian hasn't sold Orlando yet? Okay. They have occasionally had flights there, but uh, it was more of like charters and such. But it's good to see Hawaiian having regular service there. And then finally, ARCO has started service to Pakistan. They are the new Pakistani airline. I will have a link up to the top right corner that AS Aviation just put out about the new services. So you can go check it out, get more information because he is much more knowledgeable on the subject than I am. So, that being said, that's it for the video. I want to thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. On the 24th of December, we hit 1,000 subscribers, and I really am so thankful to all of you wonderful people. It's a fantastic Christmas present. In fact, so far, my favorite Christmas present I've gotten this year is the fact that you guys subscribed to the channel, got this channel to 1K subs. Without you, this channel would not be possible, and I'm so happy to be here. i got some awesome videos for you guys. The next interview will be out in January and it will be with somebody who I think most of you guys know and will really look forward to. I think you guys are really going to like it. However, it's taking a little while to get the arrangements and such. But uh, the video should be out hopefully in January and I have another special surprise video for you guys in January about the same time. More great content coming this week and in future weeks. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day. God bless you. Second one is once a day service from Karachi. <sighs> Not Karachi. The second one is once a day service from. <laughs>